Hi there, today we're going to talk about calibrating TOF1 rangefinder from Teradec. Now if you've used other rangefinder systems like the Cine RT Focus Bug or the RUDM1, you'll know that the offset on that relates to the difference between the sensor plane on your camera and the end of your rangefinder. However, for the TOF1, it relates to the difference between what it's currently reading and what it should be reading. So to make it easy for yourself, it's very wise to point your TOF1 towards something that's flat. So as you'll notice, I've got the focus chart in the back, so we're just going to use that. So we're just going to pan our camera onto that. And we're just going to center up on our focus chart. Yeah, just about there. Now on the top of the TOF1, we've got a battery operated laser pointer. Now it's not required, but it definitely helps when you want to double check where we're actually pointing and what we're reading our measurements from. So we're just going to click that and turn it on. Oh, damn, center, perfect. So now that we know our TOF1 is reading from the correct point in our frame, we need to double check what the measurement should be. So we're going to get our soft tape measure out and we're just going to check it. Now we're going to hook it off the sensor pin here. We're going to run it all the way out until it's nice and taut. Cool, so that reads uh, 8 foot 1. Now unfortunately my four-legged second AC Elki is uh, unavailable today, so I have to wind the tape measure. Might not hire her again. So now that we know our readout should be 8 foot 1, if we look over at our MDR here, this is the MDR X. Now it currently says that it's 7 foot 6, which is obviously 7 inches off. So if we go down to menu, down to rangefinder, calibrate, currently the offset is at zero. So if we scroll up to seven inches, we go back, there we go, reading at foot one. Now sometimes when I've done a calibration, even though I had the tape measure being accurate and I've input it correctly onto the MDR, it still reads as an inch or two off. Obviously this rangefinder is not technically on a square angle to what our subject is at the moment. So, you know, it could be a little bit off, particularly if you're looking at a human being, which is not a flat surface. So what I do is I just go into the settings and repeat what we've just done and just dial it in until it reads accurately to what we measured it should be. Now it's worth keeping in mind that if you have to move your rangefinder at all to get around the top chop of your map box or the director's monitor keeps moving around or just you want to point your rangefinder in a different direction, technically the calibration won't be accurate anymore. But uh, yeah, usually it's pretty close and yeah, in the heat of the moment uh, you can usually just adapt to it. But, uh, but if you're on something long form like a film or a series, when you do have a chance it's really nice to just now and then just double check that the calibration is correct. If you've got your second AC with the slate they can run out and you can measure it from that. Or you can point it towards the side of the camera truck and just double check. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you've got any questions just put them down in the comments and talk to you soon. See ya.